Hello, I'm announcing the winner and the runners-up for my Create with, the, with Quest robot competition today. And just before I do, I'd just like to say thank you for everybody who sent in their robot. Um, they were so inventive. As ever, I was blown away by your creativity, your imagination, your inventiveness. And really don't worry if you didn't win or I didn't pick um, you as a runners up up this time because uh, I have to pick one winner and one runners up and and uh, or two runner a few runners up and the thing is I had loads of competition when I was a kid and, and and I very rarely won a competition it it doesn't mean that your robot wasn't amazing and creative or that you wouldn't win next time or I just had to choose <laughs> the one this time um so um here we go I'm gonna I'm going to start with one of the runners up, which is from Mayfield School. And actually, a lot of um, people from May Mayfield School sent in their uh, robots. Um, and, and I had such difficulty picking um, just one. And this one is called Cutie. And I loved Cutie. I love Cutie. And also, I love this picture because I thought... Uh, that almost a story was being told. I could see that Puck was beginning to um, fall in love with Cutie a bit. And and I love the paw prints on Coo um, Cutie's um, tummy, which uh, are a bit like kind of, they. I thought they were a very imaginative idea for uh, buttons that you might press. So Cutie. So whoever is the teacher at Mayfield School, maybe you should write in and tell the cr incredible creator of Cutie um, that they've won one of the runners up prizes. Next one is Dixie's flower bot. Okay, this is the flower bot. This was such, I have to admit, I love flowers. So I was particularly, um, I, I love the idea of flower bot. And flower bot shoots flowers out of the hands. Shoots fla the flowers out of their hands and and um, I think makes makes flower dresses. So it's a sort of crafting robot. Um, loved Dixie's flower bot. So well done, Dixie. Um, and this was a very different kind of. I love it how all of your robot robots were also very different. You all have different ideas um, of what a robot might might be or what it might look like this is lauren age um 10's um entry and it's zip zip sorry zip is a high-tech communications device that looks like a calculator at first glance um zip's personality i love how lauren was thinking about zip's um personality it's often like its owner or its maker um you can talk to zip but you have to send a message on the on the keypad beautiful picture of of zip here um, which 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 also shows eyes that can detect lies. So it's a multi-purpose robot that you can sort of create on. Um, but it's also a, a kind of lie detector and can talk. And I, I love that robot. Um, but the winner this time is um, Sana's incredible robot. I love this one. This is this is an amazing robot that Sana has actually built can you see in that um left hand corner that sana has built the robot in 3d but also is making a story i can see the story that sana is already telling in a in a kind of graphic novel or comic book kind of style um and already telling a story it's a chop it's a sweet dispenser as well there's an adventure badge there's a torch mode metal hair um and and the robot appears to be catching the dragon stone. We even have the dragon stone just there in the middle there. The dragon stone. I'm already wondering what does that dragon dragon stone do? Um, you know why? Why is the robot trying to catch it? And um, Sam's written, "I've nearly got it again. I've got it." Um, is giving the robot a personality. So, congratulations, Sana. And everybody in the world get this hand drawn oh, original illustration of Puck. The little robot from which way to anywhere runners up will get a little drawing as well. Congratulations to the winner and the runners up and thank you for all your incredible creations. I'll be running another Create with Quest competition fairly soon because I love seeing what you guys can do with your magic fingers.
incredible ideas. Thank you.